In this video, we'll show you the basic features and operation of the Seikonic C500. All display information is obtained by pressing the blue display button. Once a light measurement has been taken, color temperature is displayed in Kelvin. Lens filtration is displayed in actual filter numbers. By default, the meter uses Kodak's Rattan filter designation, which is also used by the Lee filter system. You can also choose to have the meter display Fuji's LBB LBA filter number using the meter's custom settings. The meter displays the LB index for use when using filters compensated in LB index values. The LB index increment can be selected in the custom settings menu. The default index is reciprocal mega Kelvin, which equals one myriad. You can also set the C500 to display light source brightness in lux or foot candles. The Prodigy Color C500 operates like all Seikonic light meters and reads both ambient and flash. However, the C500 measures light for the purpose of color, not exposure. To change modes, press and hold the mode button while turning the jog wheel. The current mode is displayed in the top left corner of the LCD screen. Ambient light mode is used for metering constant light sources. In cordless flash mode, the C500 has a 90 second window of time that waits for a flash to fire. When a flash fires, the measurement is displayed and the window resets for an additional 90 seconds. This repeats until no flash is detected inside the 90 second window. Cord flash mode allows you to use a sync cable with any standard studio strobe and trigger flashes for measurement. The C500R also offers wireless radio triggering for use with Pocket Wizard flash systems. The C500 allows you to match your light sources to any color temperature you choose. Simply press and hold the set K button and turn the jog wheel to match the meter's display to whatever color temperature you desire. The filter number changes to indicate the filter you should use. You can also use the meter's custom functions to create up to 19 color correction presets to adjust the meter to account for any color rendering differences a particular DV camera or film type might have. To choose a preset, simply press and hold the preset button and rotate the jog wheel. You can custom name your presets for easy identification. In this example, we've named our preset floor to remind us to use it when balancing to fluorescent lighting. To customize how your meter works, Press the menu button to enter the meter's setup functions, then turn the jog wheel to select the feature you'd like to set. The options are digital or film mode, set range for setting sensitivity to high or low power flashes, preset white balance compensation, and custom settings. Pressing the menu button again will return you to normal measuring mode. Let's begin by setting the meter to measure for the type of camera you're using, either digital or film. First, press the menu button and then rotate the jog wheel until you see Digi Film displayed. Next, press the measure OK button. Now, turn the jog wheel to select digital or film. Then, press the measure OK button again to set it. Finally, press the menu button to return to normal measuring mode. Flash measurement has two ranges. To set the range, press the menu button, then turn the jog wheel until you see set range displayed. Next, press the Measure OK button. Now turn the jog wheel to select high or low. The C500 has a flash measurement range from f2.8 to f90.9. Use the low range for f2.8 to f22. High range is for f16 to f90.9. Press the Measure OK button again to set it, and the Menu button to get back to normal measuring mode. The white balance or color compensation set enables entering color correction values to get proper white balance when the meter and your camera don't agree. Some cameras, for example, may tend to be more sensitive to a specific color or may be warmer or cooler with different ISO settings. 
This can also be true of different film stocks. Note that if you're shooting in digital mode, you'll adjust WB Comp. And if you're shooting in film mode, you'll adjust Color Comp. In this example, we're going to demonstrate setting WB Comp in the digital mode. First, press the Menu button and then turn the jog wheel until WB Comp is displayed. Next, press the Measure OK button and then rotate the jog wheel to select the preset number you'd like to customize. Then press the Measure OK button again to select it. Once you have a preset selected, you can turn the jog wheel to select Setting or Clear. Clear removes all custom settings from the chosen preset. We don't want to do that, so we'll turn the jog wheel until Setting is displayed so we can set up our preset. Once you see Setting, press the Measure OK button once more. This allows you to make adjustments to the preset. The blinking display is the item that can currently be changed. When naming a preset, use the jog wheel to select a character, which can be an alphanumeric character, blank, or a symbol. Up to eight characters can be set for naming. Use the display button to change from uppercase to lowercase letters. Use set K to move the cursor right and mode to move it left. Press the measure OK button to choose a different item to modify. Rotate the jog wheel to select the number and repeat this operation until you set all necessary settings. When you are finished, press the Menu button to save your settings and return to normal operating mode. To enter the Custom Settings menu, press the Menu button and then rotate the jog wheel until you see Custom Set displayed. Then press the Measure OK button to enter the Custom Settings menu. Use the jog wheel to navigate to each custom setting. In the Custom Settings menu, you can customize the meter to your specific needs or preferences. You can adjust the shutter speed for full, half stop, or one third stop increments. You can adjust how the target Kelvin temperature will be displayed in the meter, in 100 degree or 10 per mega Kelvin degree increments to match your digital camera's Kelvin set increments. For light source filtration, you can adjust the LB step. You can set the filter index to read out in per mega Kelvin, which is equivalent to MyRID, or DECA per mega Kelvin system with or without a decimal point. Under LB Filter, you can select different filter number types, either Kodak Rattan and Lee Filter or the Fujifilm LBA LBB system. In the Auto Off section, you can set the meter to automatically power off in 20, 10, or 5 minutes, or always stay on. Finally, you can set the Ambient Light Brightness display to read out as None, Lux and Foot Candles, Lux Only, or Foot Candles Only. Press the Menu button to get back to normal measuring mode. The C500's memory function provides a fast and easy way to measure and compare the color and brightness of different light sources. First, let's take a color or brightness reading. Next, we'll press the Memory button and see a blinking M in the lower left-hand corner of the display. Now we can take a second reading by pressing and holding the Measure OK button. You can see the color or brightness difference between the two light sources. This is very useful when equalizing a series of lights to a standard. <laughs>